where for days residents of the Krabu enclave have been seeing power cuts due to what the ECG describes as hijack of its network. The situation is having a toll on business activities and healthcare delivery in the area. Correspondent Yvonne Ikwe has filed this report. Residents in the Kubo enclave were experiencing erratic supply even before the electricity company of Ghana, ECG, decided to shut down feeders at the bulk supply point since Monday. ECG cited illegal connections and threat to its staff as reasons for the shutdown. The situation is already having unbearable toll on individuals, businesses and some institutions. The lights have been off for a month now. We are calling on authorities to intervene to address the challenge for us. If you buy petrol for your generator a day, you need 100 CDs. But how much money can one make in a day? Please help resolve the issue for us. As a facility, uh, we are completely paperless at our OPD, inpatient, every service, including our finances, storage, everything is on a digital uh, platform. And so our generator needs to be on 24 7. And that has cost us financial. Centers with generators have been overwhelmed with phones to charge at a cost of two cities per phone. We have to break down our transformers. We complain severely to it. We always come trying to repair, but we didn't yield anything better. And that is the challenge we have. It's very hot here. Our phones are down. We are now planning to get generators and then charge people's phone for them. Residents are appealing to ECG to reverse its decision. Assemblyman for the Bong Ahojo electoral area concedes his people have been part of the problem but want ECG to tamper justice with mercy. But this one is across. So everybody's affected. We called for this. I don't see why people should be attacking their personalities within ECG. I don't, I don't see it. We need to all reason up. Let's come to a round table discussion. Recently, some youth group led a demonstration to demand ECG halt an intended installation of prepaid meters and also cancel debts from error meters installed years ago. The Irish youth also threatened officials to stop operating from the area. They also demanded that a shooting incident that occurred in previous demonstrations years ago be investigated and victims compensated. The ECG has meanwhile moved its office from Somania to Japan in the Volta region for the safety of their workers. Well, Frederick Naokle is convener of a group known as the Coalition of Krabo Youth has joined us on phone for uh, more on this. Uh, Frederick, we're grateful for your time with us on Midday Live. We just watched a story on the impact of the situation on businesses and residents. How did we get here? <laughs> well, well, good afternoon. Let me use this opportunity to salute all Ghanaians and every single person listening to my voice now. We salute you all. But uh, this is how far we've come. And uh, it is because of sometimes stubbornness and sometimes we think we are hard and difficult. And this is how far this has brought us. But this thing started in 2014. We noticed ECG was overbilling us. And then it went on until 2017 when it became too much. We were paying bills all right, but it, it, it became too much and we raised alarms. Mm -hmm. And so, Later on, a group got out uh, from uh, among us, which is called United Kubo Foundation. And then they started making uh, arrangements to meet ECG and other things. ECG came to the table last and then told us they, they, they were transferring or move, migrating from uh, analog to digital. And their mm. systems, it is the software that is doing that. So they are sorry. Okay. And they, whoever has problems concerning billing should come. So that they sit down with them within right. and then fix those issues. Okay, you know, you, you want, did that. 
Frederick, you, you want the ECG to yes. return to the area, but you understand it was uh, the action of another group in the area that led to ECG leaving. What plans uh, have you put in place to ensure the safe return of the ECG staff? Um, we, we, we are assuring them that what our elders, our chiefs and our uh, political leaders told us, they told us they went to a meeting with the ECG and agreed that they would give them 500 security men from uh, Yellow and then 500 from Lower Manyaku. So okay. we can provide enough security. But with the support of the police, we believe we can do that and we are prepared to give them security. So they should come back and then begin to operate again, and then we are warning everybody, let me use this medium, we are warning every, anybody who would like to impeach ECG from working to defray from that, or the whole community, the whole Kobo land will descend on that fellow. We don't want any problem, we don't want to be called names like stubborn, recalcitrant people and that thing. If you are, you are having that mind, you must rather and face the youth. So we don't what, what, what happens but to but, uh, what happens to your relationship with the uh, uh, Probo Youth Foundation? Bomb water projects have been shut down. Frederick, can you hear me? They run their uh, machines on electricity. They have also been disconnected. They, we, we don't even have pipe bomb water in our town now. Frederick, can you hear me? Uh, yes, I can hear you. Right. Briefly before you go, there seems to be another group antagonizing your efforts, the uh, Crobo Youth Foundation. Are you not on a clash course with them? No. They are our brothers. We know each other very well. And there is no way we will fight among us. But we are telling them they are blowing this out of proportion and that they must stop and stop now for us to have peace between all of us. Right. We are not having any, I know all of them, they also know me. We want peace and they must stop their operations. That is it. 